Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a full Sultanicals Wash Day video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Promise Soul Tanicles Wash Day video, y'all. I am finally recording it. I'm not sure when you're going to see it because I'm still having problems with my editing software. <sighs> I'm trying to find a free solution instead of having to pay some money, y'all, because right now, YouTube is not paying me any money. I'm doing this for free to you, but it's not free to me. Y'all know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do is I have my hair section off, say, for instance, in this wash day. I'm going to apply the product to all three sections. I'm going to come on and record the last section, let you see what it looks like, move on to the next step, and then repeat. That way, I'm recording shorter clips, and hopefully, I can put those on like the YouTube shorts. Now, I've seen people where it's obvious that they combine separate clips to make the 60 second or the 15 second YouTube short. I'm barely just doing a YouTube short, y'all. So I don't know how to combine different clips yet. I'm gonna try to see what I can learn. I ain't gonna learn it today. So that's all I know what to do right now. Like I said, I'm not mastered in combining <laughs> video clips into one YouTube short. I'm gonna get there, but Right now, um, I just got to do what I can do. Today, I'm going to start off with the Sultanical Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. This product here, I have about half of the container left. So I have enough, I believe, for a full wash day. I've used all of these products before. So if you want to know my full take and thoughts and all of that, check out the related videos. This is probably in my Alphabet series. The next product that I'm going to use is going to be the Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic. I can't wait. Let me let me just read. So this product is formulated to promote cell regeneration, shield against damage, nourish hair follicles, designed to enhance your existing vitamins and nutrient levels, and improve the overall condition of your hair. This is not a leave-in. This is a product that you apply to your hair. It sounds very liquidy and spray-like, but you apply it to your hair. You leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse out. I probably would liken this to maybe a mild protein treatment. So I'm going to apply this, leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it out. I'm going to follow that up with the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. This contains amla, zaminia, and avocado oil. This product here, and I have, I have a good bit. I have about three-fourths of the jar left. Y'all know deep conditioning is my favorite step of wash day, so I'm hoping that this worked for my hair before and that it works now. And then the last product that I plan to use is the Clump and Curl Afro Vegan Styling Custard. This has olive squalane and castor oil. This is the product. And I have a good bit. I probably have about three-fourths of this also left. Now, I was thinking about using the Not Sauce Detangler as the leave-in because if you notice, I don't have a leave-in. What I have is a cleanser, a protein treatment, and then hopefully a moisturizing deep conditioner. And then I have a styler. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Not Sauce Detangler leave-in like as my leave-in moisturizer, or if I'm gonna just go straight from rinsing out the deep conditioner to applying the styling custard. I've applied the butter shampoo to the three sections and I just have this section left. I already wet it down, y'all. And I think this might be a way forward for me with my future wash days is to apply the product to all of the sections already and then just save the last section on camera, show that to you, and then I can show you what the product looks like all around my entire head if time allows and that's the plan for the video, but... I think applying a product to all of my hair 
already and then coming on camera with the last section is going to save me time it's probably going to be a better wash day and video experience i'm i'm hoping and then you still get to see what i think about the products and how they function in my hair so applying the product is is very easy especially having my hair already damp and wet i think i applied i'm gonna say maybe about 75 cent work <laughs> if y'all know for a while i was measuring stuff by nickels quarters and dimes and y'all remember a lot of products back in the day i don't know if they still do it and i'm just getting uh shed hair off of my hand but you know they used to say apply dime size amount apply whatever whatever so i started saying that i was applying a quarter 50 cent 75 cent a dollar so i would say between 50 cent and 75 cent of product i applied to this section i do have i'm gonna say a moderate amount of shedding i do believe it has to do with the dry weather the dry and the cooler weather this winter has been i don't know y'all kind of a, a little bit off this season just kind of strange and i think somebody else talked about a uh, winter shedding it might have been elena from lady smash 7-eleven i think it is it could have been Shanita at Essence of Coils. I can't remember. It's a, vid a video that I watched recently and they were talking about winter shedding. And I think I'm dealing with that too. And it's just because of just the dry and cooler air during this time of year. Even in my area where we have very mild winters, it's it haven't been that mild. Though. It's been kind of cold and dry. So I've been having more shedding than even I normally have. And I have like a good bit of shedding. I don't know how I still have the amount of hair on my head that I do, y'all, for real. So this is the butter shampoo. When I first opened the jar and I smelled it, it reminded me of almost like, y'all remember the yellow dial soap? It almost gave me that kind of just smell. It smells like it's going to clean it has a a soft scent but it smells like the purpose of it is to cleanse my hair to remove oil dirt product residue it it feels like that so this is the product applied i'll take these clamps down so you can see what the product looks like in other sections of my hair my scalp feels good i'm not gonna say i had heavy products in my hair before but i like a cleanser where i like i feel like my scalp is being clean so that gets a plus for this and like i said i don't remember exactly what i said about these products before i do have a review on all of these i reviewed these already oh y'all i oh I really like the way my hair feels. And it's not just my hair, but it's the scalp. It's the scalp, y'all. Okay, I'm trying to spend limited amount of time per step of wash day. So that's going to be it for this part as I am <laughs> got hair in my mouth. A real quick turnaround, y'all. Okay, I'm going to rinse this out, apply the rice tonic, come back to spray down the last section, and then show you that step of the wash day. I'm back after rinsing out the Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. I would repurchase this just because of how it makes my scalp feel. It cleansed all of my strands, removed all of the dirt, the product residue whatever all of that but the way it made my scalp feel light cleansed refreshed 
And when I rinsed it out, my hair felt very soft. Now I know rice, vitamin, rice has protein strengthening properties. But when I rinsed out this butter shampoo, it made my hair feel very soft. This is a definite repurchase. Yep, this is a winner for me. I've applied the Sprout Follicular Rice Tonic to all sections of my hair. This is the last section. I'm going to tell y'all, be careful how you spray this, how much you spray it, where you spray it. This will get in your throat. And even though it has a light floral <coughs> scent, <coughs> yo, it gets in the throat. It is a very fine mist. I feel like I have to hold my breath like while I'm spraying and talking to y'all. <sighs> Just... <coughs> Just be careful how and and where and how much you spray. Now I did each section. I started off with this size comb to go through. But because it's such a fine mist and I don't know how much is too much or how much is enough, I went back through with this comb just to try to make sure that I got the tonic on every strand. I mentioned in an earlier video that I wanted to try to pay more attention. <coughs> Yo, I wanted to try to pay more attention to the crown area of my hair. So I did section that off and I applied the rice tonic specifically to that section also. Just gathering up the shed hair, y'all. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> it says to leave leave it in for up to 20 minutes I only have time for about 10 minutes it's already been sitting in my on the other sections of my hair for like 5 minutes so in the 5 minutes that I have left for this section maybe a few more I'm going to set up my a brand new hair dryer <laughs> y'all I can't wait for y'all to see that video it was very <laughs> It was very entertaining to say the least. I can't wait till I get my editing software, you know, whether I have to buy a new software. That's another thing. I don't want to have to learn a whole nother application. Anyway, we'll get there, but I can't wait for y'all to see that video. It was funny, but I finally have a hard top hooded dryer. So for the deep conditioning step, I'm going to sit under the hair dryer for this step. Applying the rice tonic, I'm not going to sit under the hair dryer. The directions don't say to do that. It just says massage the rice tonic into your hair and scalp. Leave it in for up to 20 minutes. Rinse hair thoroughly with warm water. Use weekly for excellent healthy hair growth results. So for right now, let me set up my hair dryer. Rinse this out. Start applying a deep conditioner and I'll be back to show you the application of the last section. I have rinsed out the follicular rice tonic and I applied... The Afrotastic to all sections except for this one. But before I finish applying the deep conditioner, let's talk about the follicular rice tonic. I applied this to my hair all over. Like I said, it's a very fine mist. Be careful where you spray because it will catch your throat. I let it sit in for about 10 minutes altogether. I didn't apply heat. And when I rinsed it out, y'all, my hair, my hair felt very fortified. It didn't feel hard like a strong protein treatment it didn't feel I, strong is like the wrong word it felt fortified i'm not sure how i felt about this product the first couple of times that i used it i think i just was like okay yeah it's a light spray i didn't really see what it did to my hair can't say one way or another i need to try this again and i think maybe at the time my hair was not in a state to receive the benefits of this product. I don't know if it was the time of year, the weather, the season, you know, or just the condition of my hair that I didn't really just feel the benefits of the product. But y'all, today, have you ever been in a place where you were not able to receive the benefits of a thing? But then you came back around at another time and you let that thing work on you and you instantly realized the benefits. I'm talking to somebody right now about something more than hair products. In addition to myself, 
That hit somebody right where it needed to hit. And now let's apply the rest of this deep conditioner. All right, y'all, my hair is dried out just a little bit. So let me just, I don't want to put it too damp. I am seriously running out of time. Y'all, I'm going to section this a little bit. What I'm going to do after I sit under the dryer, probably for just about 10 minutes and rinse this out, I'm just going to put some chunky twists or some chunky plaits in my hair. I want it to sit under the dryer right away to give the style like a chance to, to set, but I don't have time. So it's going to air dry for a while. And then when I get back home, my plan is to sit under the hair dryer. But I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner to this section, work it in. This is a very light deep conditioner. It's creamy, but it feels like it has some substance to it. It feels like it's going to put in the work. It smells really good. I'm just using this finer tooth comb to make sure that I get the product on every strand. I did section my hair in five. The same as I did for the rice tonic to make sure that I'm getting product on every strand and really to give the crown of my hair some focus and attention because I feel like I've been lacking in that area and my crown just feel like it need attention. So I'm going to start sectioning my hair at least for the deep conditioning step and maybe some other steps too of the wash day process and focusing on that crown. So here is the last section of applying the Afrotastic deep conditioner. I'm going to get under the dryer for about 10 minutes, rinse it out. And then when I come back, we're going to apply the Clump and Curl Afro Vegan Styling Custard. I don't think I'm going to use the not sauce leaving. I think I'm just on damp hair, apply the styling custard, and we're going to see how that's going to work out.